Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw Owlet from PJ Masks. So let's get started. To draw this cute hero, let's first start by drawing her eyes. So I'm going to come right here and give myself a point and I'm going to go up with a curve and a cross. I'm just drawing this big curve that comes up and then we're going to connect it with almost the same shape on the other side. So we're just going to curve down and connect right there. And then let's come right across and we're going to do the same thing. So let's say about right here, not too far apart. And then we're going to go up once again, just like the other side. And come down and then go ahead once again, just go ahead and connect at the bottom. This is almost like drawing a leaf, right? There. Now that we have that shape in, let's go ahead and we're going to come inside towards this edge more and we're going to draw a circle inside. There. And then we're going to draw a highlight right here. So another circle right in this area and we're going to surround it with another circle and I'm going to shade this circle in. And then the color of her eyes will be right here in that um, area in the white. Then let's come up right here and I'm just going to thicken this up so I do a little angle and I'm just going to come here and taper it in and just thicken this part up at the top. So same exact thing over here. So towards this edge more, let's go ahead and draw a circle. And once again, another highlight right here and then surround it with a circle and shade this part in. And once again, we're going to give it that little angle right here and taper it in and shade that in. So just make any adjustments you need. Try to make it about the same on both sides. Okay, so now we finally have her eyes in. Let's uh, oh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and we're going to come to the side of her eyes. Well, right here. And I'll come out just a little bit, not too much. And we're going to start to frame her face in. So let's come right here and we're going to angle it down. So let's come about right here. And draw a curve on both sides. And now that I have that, you know what? I'm just going to stop a little bit. I'm going to come back right here so I kind of know where how far to go down. Between her eyes, let's come about right here and I'm just going to draw this little nose. Just give her some space. I'm just going to draw a little curve right here. Then let's give her a smile right underneath. So about right here, draw a big curve that comes slightly upwards and cap it off. There. So now we know where her mouth is and I'm going to just give myself a point, let's say about right here, right in the center, just so I know where I'm going. So about right here, I'm going to go ahead and bring in this big curve that comes all the way down. So it's just much easier because I'm drawing pretty big so I know where I'm going with my curve. And this way I know how far to bring down her face. Okay, finally I have that huge curve. And so we wanted some space right here between her nose because we need to draw her mask. So I'll just give myself a point here. Drag it across about right there so I know where I'm going and I'm going to draw a curve. It comes above that little curve I drew towards the center. Just come in a little bit and then come right back out underneath the eye and curve. Very delicate, right? <laughs> it's always harder because I can't turn my paper. So definitely turn your paper if you need to, to get a better angle to draw these curves. Okay, so finally have that in, we can go ahead and draw the top of her mask. So I'm gonna come in between her eyes, so I'm about right here and give myself a point and I'm going to start to go up. Nice and high past this point right here. I'm going to go up past it. So say about right there, round off the tip. 
and bring it down. We're going to draw three curves. So one, two, and three, and then connect whatever space you have left. So just notice it's kind of coming in at a curve. So let's do the same thing on the other side. So we're just going to follow this. And we uh, want to make sure this curve is past this point right here. So let's go up just like the other side. And I'm going to drag this point across since I'm drawing pretty big. So I know where I'm going approximately. So let's just say about right here. Past. And then go up. Round off the tip, just like the other side. And we're just going to put in two more curves. One and two. Just a little bit more and then connect whatever you have left. There. Okay, that's the hardest part, right? Just getting those two big wings in here. And then we're just going to imagine as if she was had this big oval head. So about right here. And about right here, we're just going to go ahead and connect it with a curve towards the center, about right here, and then come right back down. So now that we're done with her head, let's go ahead and draw her body. So let's come about right here, and we're going to draw a curve down for some shoulders, and down right about here. And then we're going to connect this part right here for her cape. So I'm going to come right here and curve up, come down, and curve right back up. There. And then let's find kind of like where her armpit area would be. So I'm just going to give myself two points about right here. And I'm just going to draw a slight angle line out. Just very slight. Almost straight, actually. <laughs> Which might as well just make it kind of straight. And then um, let's bring this down more. So we need to find um, where her legs are going to start. So I'm going to say about right here. I'll just give myself a little slight angle line. So her body's right here. And then we're just going to come out with two angles for her legs. And so let's work on this leg. So very simple, just a little tight suit that she's wearing. So not much detail. Then we're just going to connect this. So let's just continue this down. And we're going to get thinner for her ankles as we come down. So just take a look how long you want to make her legs. And about right there, I'm going to start to flare it out for her feet. And then right here, I'm just going to go ahead and connect. There. Okay, so same thing on the other side. Except this side, we're going to have her legs to the side. But it's the same idea. We just want to bring this all the way down to the same area where her ankles are. And we just want to be thinner, come down. And get thinner as we come down. There. And then we're going to straighten this out to about this level. It's there with the other foot. And about right here, I'm just going to go ahead and bring a curve out and connect. There. Now let's just come right here for some detail all the way across for her soles. Okay, then from there, let's go ahead and draw her arms. So I'm just going to have them on her hips. So about in this area right here is what I'm aiming for. So I'll come back right here and draw two angle lines that come down. And about right here, I'm going to flare out a little angle for her hands. So let's go ahead and thicken this up. Elbow. And bring it in. Tiny little weight, uh, wrist hand and then finger. So same thing over here. So let's come about right here. And we want to end right there about the same area. So and angle this down and out. So once again, the elbow. Bring it 
pin, and then the hand, and a little finger. There. Okay, so then uh, let's see here. Let's draw her beautiful cape. So I'm um, just going to flare it out by right here. And here on both sides. And let's bring it to about in this area. So I'm going to bring this down to about right there. We're going to draw, let's see here, one, two, and then we'll just tuck this in. And then in between, we'll just add two curves right there. And let's do the same thing over here. So just want to kind of bring it to about the same level as the other side. So about right there. And then we're going to do the same thing. Go up and down. Oh, just tuck this in right there. And then for some beautiful detail in here, let's go ahead. We're going to... Um, give this a little trim. So let's come down. We're going to go up, down, following the curves we made at the bottom, and follow. And then right here, I'm just going to thicken this. And same thing here. So let's go ahead. One. Two. three and then just tuck this in and then some more details i'm just going to use my lines right here and i'm just going to connect right here so we're just drawing kind of like the v at every point so let's see here do i see any about right there and the view right here okay finally <laughs> sorry if I complicated that but just want to draw a V coming out from every one of these tips right there and last but not least let's draw the logo on her um, outfit right here so I'm gonna come right here in the center and just draw straight on the cross and angle it in curve out now we're going to go straight out again. And then we're going to draw some zigzags. Two and three. So same thing on this side. Two and three. And then we're going to connect it towards the center, about right here, with an angle. Little tip right there and then go up. And there's a line that comes down right here in the center. and the eyes. So let's come right here and draw these two big teardrop shapes at an angle. So they're all done. I really hope you love how my version of Outlet here turned out from PJ Masks. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Draw Secure videos. See you later.